The nine to five work culture where we work fixed hours and the boss watches us do our work is quickly becoming a thing of the past. There are a number of key strategies that you can employ in making this shift away from a nine to five work culture towards more asynchronous work. The first is you need to start at the top. And so what this means is not only does senior leadership need to support this, but senior leadership needs to actually walk the talk and model a flexible work schedule. So what this may look like in practice is that the leader of a team or an organization may make it very visible that she's leaving at three o'clock to go to her kid's soccer game and that the work will get done when she said it would get done, upholding those commitments and not holding people accountable to being logged on from nine to five. Another strategy is actually focusing on outcomes. By focusing on outcomes or results rather than inputs, you can actually achieve more, more efficiently by getting your people aligned, efficient, and empowered knowing what they need to accomplish and then letting them go do it on their own schedules. Having clear agreements about who is going to do what by when is really key and then holding each other accountable to those things. Another strategy is clarifying what does need to be synchronous. Typically higher touch activities like coaching, feedback, mentoring, all of those should be done synchronously. Go back and look at the past two weeks of work and all the meetings that you've had. What actually could have been communicated in an email? What actually required live real-time discussion? Oftentimes we have assumptions about what requires a meeting and what doesn't, or there might be assumptions about the standard length of a meeting. You may find that you actually didn't need to have a number of the meetings that you actually had. Finally, you want to keep an eye on inclusion. One of the benefits of remote work and asynchronous work is that we have many more pipelines from which to source candidates from different geographies, different backgrounds and communities. If your company is based on the East Coast, there might be a bias to have certain synchronous meetings on East Coast times, but you may shift that around to be more inclusive of other time zones so that somebody is not waking up at 5 a.m. to be on an 8 a.m. Eastern call. So making sure you are building an inclusive work environment for everyone. Asynchronous work is the future of work and you don't wanna get left behind.